This superfood is high in protein and has moderate fat, perfect for cats. It also has a really great calcium to phosphorus ratio and matches a mouse, perfect for cats. It has an acidic pH, perfect for cats. Omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, perfect for cats. And naturally occurring probiotics and digestive enzymes, again, perfect for cats. It's completely perfect except for the smell. <laughs> and I'm talking about stinky green tripe. It's so stinky. So what is green tripe? Just in case you don't know, it is the stomach lining, the chambers of the stomach lining of ruminating animals. So that includes cow, sheep, deer, mainly the animals that chew the cud, meaning they regurgitate their food and then bring it back down and digest it again. You may have seen tripe at the grocery store and it's completely white. That means that it's been bleached, cleaned, bleached, and scalded. And that is not the same as green tripe. So green tripe that you buy from raw pet food suppliers will still contain the pre-digested plant material in, in the tripe. So that's why it stinks, <laughs> but it's full of nutrients. And again, it is a superfood. So if you can stomach the smell, I highly, highly recommend feeding it to your cat. Do cats even like green tripe? Well, I would say that the smell could be a good smell attractant if you're trying to get your cat to eat new food. It can also help with the transition considering that it has the probiotics and enzymes. Jericho really likes it. He takes a big whiff of it and then he eats it. I don't know how, it is really stinky. You could try freeze dried green tripe first because I've noticed that it doesn't smell as much as the raw like frozen ground green tripe. I have used it as a smell attractant with my mom's four cats so they might smell their food and then they're like man I don't know if I want to eat it so then I'll take freeze-dried raw green tripe let them smell it and then sprinkle it over the food and then they smell the tripe and then they start going to town on their food. So the nutritional benefits are really great. The moisture content is the same as a mouse, about 70%, which is great. Obviously cats need high moisture food. A mouse provides about 50 to 60% protein on a dry matter basis, which means when you remove the moisture from the food, then you can actually compare foods properly because dry food and wet food have very, very significant changes in moisture contents. So a mouse, 50 to 60% protein on a dry matter basis. Whereas green tripe has about 55% protein on a dry matter basis. So it's right in the middle of what a mouse would provide, which is perfect. A mouse is between 18 and 20% fat on a dry matter basis. So typically that's why I say when you're looking at cat foods, it's good to have about half the amount of fat compared to protein because that's exactly what a mouse provides. Now, green tripe is much higher in fat. It's about 30% fat on a dry matter basis, but that's fine because fat is a great source of energy and you wouldn't only feed green tripe. This is just a small part of your cat's raw diet. The calcium to phosphorus ratio is really great. Guess Jericho doesn't want to talk about green tripe. It also provides B vitamins and arachidonic acid, and cats have a higher requirement for those nutrients. It's also a great source of manganese. I think that feeding green tripe is the best way to mimic the cat eating the stomach contents of prey, because if you think about it, they eat the entire prey and mice, rats, birds. Primarily their diet is vegetation, so they're going to eat their food, their plants, and then either digest it or pre-digest it, and some of that's still going to be in the stomach and in the intestines, and the cat eats the entire prey, so he's going to take in some of those pre-digested plant materials. Now, the key here is that it's pre-digested. He's not, the cat isn't eating raw veggies, it's eating the stomach contents and the intestines of the pre-digested plant material. And the green tripe is, technically the same thing. It's this, the lining of the stomach chambers that would contain some of that pre-digested plant material that the cow or the sheep or the goat, etc., would eat. So how to feed? You might be thinking, well, if green tripe is so beautiful and so perfect, minus the smell, <laughs> can I feed only that to my cat? And I would say no. You know, variety is key. Cats in the wild eat five to seven different proteins, so they don't just stick to one thing. And additionally, like I said, it's this, it's basically to mimic the stomach contents 
of the prey, which is just a small amount. So when you're feeding green tripe as part of your raw cat food diet, it fits under the muscular tissue, muscular organ category. So the muscle meat, the bulk of the diet, that muscle meat category. But you don't wanna do that entire 83 to 85% muscle meat, just green tripe. So I, I would say, you know, stick to a smaller percent of that within the muscular organ category, along with heart and lung and tongue, those kind of muscular organs. Jericho eats around one ounce per week and that's split between the days. And so this is about 4% of his diet, but I'm probably going to increase this as I adjust his diet. I'm adding new ingredients all the time, but green tripe has been part of his diet for a really long time. If you're feeding green tripe as treats, like freeze-dried raw green tripe, I would say stick to around 20%, and that just is across the board with all, with all treats. So up to 20%, that's the max that you wanna feed of like what you're feeding each day from treats. And you wanna make sure that you're including that amount in your cat's total daily intake of food because you don't want to overfeed your cat because even if it's healthy, feeding too much food can lead to weight gain. So where to buy raw green tripe? The places that I'm familiar with is Hair Today, although I've never purchased green tripe from them before because they sell out really quickly, but Jericho did eat before he was eating more of a whole foods diet. He was eating their ground beef, bones, and organs, which also includes tripe in that mix. So he has had that, but not just not their product that's only green tripe. The place that I currently buy from is Raw Feeding Miami. Now, Hair Today is on Susan Fix's 2023 list, human grade quality. Raw Feeding Miami is not. But a note about green tripe, technically green tripe with all of the plant material in it would never be considered human grade quality because the tripe at the grocery store is completely cleaned out, it's bleached, it's scalded, washed, and, and all of that. So none of the nutritional benefits basically that cats need are in the tripe that you find at the grocery store. So whether it's human grade or not, like it's, it's the green tripe that we feed to our cats will never be of human grade quality because humans don't consume green tripe, they consume white tripe. I have also tried Feline Naturals freeze-dried raw green tripe. Used to give it to Jericho, also tested it with my mom's cats. They really liked it. That's the one that I used as the smell attractant. I will note though that Feline Naturals food is not on Susan Thixton's list either. Just putting it out there and you know, I did say moving forward, I only wanna talk about brands that are actually proven human grade quality. But those are the brands that I'm familiar with and I get the frozen raw green tripe from Raw Feeding Miami and don't really do the freeze-dried raw treats anymore. And you can check out this raw cat food playlist for beginners to get your cat adjusted to his new raw food diet. Thanks for watching.